Lord, look with love on our service and accept the gifts we bring and help us to grow in Christian love. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Also Lift you. up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in grace and love through our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and honor are his, as heaven and earth, angels and archangels cry out in unending praise, and we join them as we sing. you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your Spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, that he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and this entire people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the arrest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on Mary McNeil. Have mercy on all of us. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with Saint Basil, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray to God, our loving Father, in the words Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of Jesus be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of that peace and friendship. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer of St. Francis? Lord, Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved, as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may your healing love turn us from sin and keep us on the way that leads to you. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our thanks to Marie McNeil from Stephenville, Newfoundland generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. If you'd like to hear again any reading, gospel, or homily from this week's Masses, visit our new website at www.canadiandailymass.com That's www.canadiandailymass.com Who found